Greetings, YouTube. Some of you might recall that longtime supporter of the channel, T'Challa, opened a five-star featured champion in his early access bundles, which, if you haven't checked it out a couple hours ago, I put up the early access bundle, best of the best pulls, and we had some incredible ones, including a summer that got the five and six-star featured out of just like five crystals. Unbelievable. Anyhow, he decided to awaken that five-star featured champion, and just because he could, Take him straight to 565. Now, I know nothing about this champion yet, even though we have had Shang-Chi as a three-star since the uh, new content started. And so he has done his best to try to learn the rotations. And you can see he's got all these different strikes going. And he uh, hits a lot into the block. And so you can start to see... Um, him build up him as well he likes to parry heavy of course he's building up to that disarming strike and you'll notice that he continues to hit into the block get that stun and then bust out the special three I want to say he's sig 20 something by the way I don't know if that makes a difference but it's worth noting. All right. Damage in the special three, not great. But I don't really think at this point this is what makes this guy special. It's not like he's havoc on that special three. All right. So I've got to be honest. Because people always say, Prof, what do you think of the new featured champions? I know for some people, and probably the very skilled Brian Grant is the top of the list of like people who just love these new kind of champions. They're great at intercepting and hitting into blocks and and working through rotations. But look at his special two, by the way. Unbelievable. Woo! That's a thumbnail. Um, but I, I just, I'm just lazy. I play this game to turn off my brain, not to make it work. Maybe that's just me. But when you compare this to, like, how little skill it takes to play Omega Red or Corvus... I'm just always going to prefer those champions because I don't have to worry about rotations. Doom and his rotations are not hard at all, and yet I still sometimes find myself being like, you know, I'll just play with Corvus. <laughs> and that is a total first world MCOC problem. I definitely realize that. But at the same time, that's how I feel. All right, we've got another special three going. So far, the special two definitely did the majority of the damage. But he's cycling through those rotations. Really... Amazing, beautiful animations for the special three. Again, 8,800 damage. Small potatoes. That's four-star level damage for a 565. But check out hitting into that block. That time he didn't get the stun, so unfortunately Winter Soldier countered with the special one and made him lead. But he got the stun there. And really that can create, what, like an eight-hit combo? You get the five hits to stun him, and then you add three more. Took a little bit of a hit there. It happens. I still love featuring non-perfect fights, despite the fact that the elitist trolls of MCOC will come and be like, oh, the rotations in this video aren't perfect. I know how to play them so much better. Well, you know what? Good for you. You want a cookie? All right, here we go. Another special two. You betcha. 27,000, 22,000, 22,000, 22,000, and 52,000. Okay, well, that's the thumbnail. Um, so he has great potential. But the question is, is he going to be somebody that has enough potential for you to actually get excited to take into the game? I can't answer that question for you. All I know is that uh, he's a different champion. Kind of has some interesting utility mechanics and play style. And even though sort of like going all the way back to Taskmaster, I probably won't learn him. Maybe some of you, he'll become your favorite champion. Are you excited about this champion? Comment below, let me know. And thank you to T'Challa once again for passing on the gameplay video and keeping it under five minutes so we don't waste viewers' time.